Hello, today I am going to show you how quickly uh, we can get through this Pole Master software and how quickly your mount will be polar aligned. So I'm going to launch the Pole Master software. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's right there, Pole Master. Yes. And there's the main screen. Let's just expand it full screen. And the first thing we want to do is hit connect. And now it's going to ask us to uh, see if our our camera is actually focused or not. And it, it comes focused from the factory. You should never have to uh, change the focus or anything. And I leave the parameters on the default values, 50 and 50. All right, so I'm just going to click finished. I know I'm already in focus. But, of course, it would help if I take the cap off the camera. Let's do that. And our stars should appear now. Let's see if we see anything. Let's scroll down the script. There it is. Of course, the uh, the brightest star. Well, let me just say right now, my mount is facing north, and so you should have a clear view of Polaris. And it's usually the brightest star you're going to see on the screen, and I already know it's that one. So what you want to do is uh, line it up with this crosshair over here. That's the magnifier. So I'm going to mouse over Polaris and I'm going to double click as soon as I get it close enough on those crosshairs. I'm getting bit to death by mosquitoes. Sorry about that. Let's try a little bit more here. Right there is close enough. Now you're going to see um, <clears throat> these red dots and I'm going to use the left and right uh, keys on the keyboard to swing these red dots around until they're lined up with other stars on the there should be five dots and they should all be lined up you'll see right here there's one there's two I don't know if it's showing up so well on the screen, but there's five red dots and they're all lined up with stars. And once I've done that, I'm gonna hit success. And now the software wants me to click on one of those five stars that those red dots were on. And I'm gonna choose this one over here since it's pretty bright. I'm gonna get that above the crosshairs. You can see it in the upper left in the, the magnifier there. That's close enough. I'm going to double click now. I got to swing my right ascension to the right about 30 degrees. Excuse me. I had to get my hand control here. All right. And hit the, the right button here. Uh, that's probably, I'm going to scroll up a little bit, that's probably not 30, but I usually think that's enough and the software is okay with it. I'm going to hit finished. It wants me to do it again. Double click on the star. Right there. I'm going to swing 30 degrees again. That's enough. I'm going to hit finished. Now it wants me to double click a third time. And it's going to draw a green circle. And now it wants me to go back to my home position. So I'm going to set my mount to go to the home position. And the star should follow that circle back to where it began. If it sways too much from that you got a problem. And, and you can see Polaris swinging around as well. Alright, they just stay on the green circle. Sometimes you might see a double line, but I, I don't see a, a problem with that. I've seen other people get the same thing. So I'm going to say yes, that's correct. I'm going to click on Polaris again. I'm just following all the prompts, by the way, that the software is giving me. I know them by heart, but you'll know how to do this just by reading the prompt at the top. So let's line it up with the crosshairs, click on it. All right, let's see if my red dots are still lined up. 
You can see this is the star I was using. Let's just see if I can get it any better. Yeah, that's good. Let's hit success. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast, but this is just how fast you can use the software. All right, and now here, here's the here's the interesting part. This is how. This is true north. This is where your mount should be pointing to get uh, to be polar aligned. So what I want to do the software. Well, this is at least where I want to put Polaris. The software, if I'm there, then I'm, I know I'm going to be polar aligned. So I'm going to have to adjust my manual settings, my right ascension, or the azimuth controls on the mount, and get this Polaris up to that green circle. Is it going? It's getting closer. I'm actually using the hand controls on the mount itself because this is the part where you're going to uh, polar align your mount. I think that's level right there. Now I need to adjust the altitude. My mount, swing that over. If I guide over and put my mouse over that, you can see it magnified right there. Let's tighten that up. Oop, too much. Almost perfect. Almost. All right. Let's adjust that. Good enough. All right. I'm going to hit finished. It wants me to click on Polaris again. Now this is where we're going to fine tune the mount to get really polar aligned. I can get this thing on the crosshairs. Come on. Okay. Let's check the red dots again. Yeah, it looks good. Hit success. Now I'm going to swing over here and hit start monitor. Now we're going to be really fine tuning the mount. You can sort of see I'm a little bit off. I got to get that green circle to match up with the red one. And that's not going to be easy. Let me try. Almost. You know what? When it sort of jumps around like that, you're, you're pretty close. But I'm going to see if I can tweak it a little more. Yeah, that's it. I'm good. I'm good with that. There's no way I'm going to fix that. It's just too hard. All right. That is almost perfectly overlaid. And it's going to jump around. Especially, it's going to jump even more if it's hazy out there. But I'm not going to mess with this. But that's all there is to it. You just hit finish, and you are done. Thanks for watching. Hello there. I just wanted to share with you how my guiding is performing after I went through that uh, uh, polar alignment with the Pole Master software. And um, I did no additional drift alignment after that, so you can see how well this Pole Master actually works. In fact, it's kind of liberating. It only took me about eight minutes to, to get through that software and I'm ready to take pictures. So I think that's pretty good. I, I don't think I'll be doing any photographing tonight though. The moon is at 82% illumination. And my target right now though is my telescope is pointing almost directly upwards at the Crescent Nebula. I wish I could take some pictures, but they won't come out. This, this moon is just too bright. Anyway, I just wanted to share with you how my guiding is going. Um, yeah, looks pretty good to me. Okay, see you later.